Hello and welcome everyone. Tell me, are you curious how to build a ballista in Besiege? Well, for sure that is not an easy thing to uh, build. I mean, it's easy to build, but it's hard to understand how would it work. Anyhow, that's why you got me. So, uh, this is just a guide. It's just a basic uh, build I have for the ballista. You can improve it, you can do whatever you want on your side. But right now, let's just build a working ballista. And from there, you can develop and use it in your own purposes. Alright, so how does the ballista look like? Hmm? Do you guys know? Okay, let's... Um, let's make... Okay. We will make the shape of a ballista. And from there we will develop. Okay. Um I'm gonna need two more of this here. We will make it a little massive. Big. Anyway, you should know that you will use this ballista only one time. It will work, it will fire the, um, the arrow, the huge arrow. But only one time, keep that in mind. <laughs> okay, and now we need this uh, thingy here. Oh. Basically, this is the... Um, The place where you are going to place the arrow in the continuation of this thing. Okay. <clears throat> Wait, what do I want? Yeah, I wanted to make more of this. I might sound a little tired, guys. It has been a, a long day for me. Okay, ballista looks something like this, like a huge crossbow, if you would ask me. <sighs> Just a bow, but with a bigger size. Okay, now we also have to use braces in order to... make our little ballista more resistant because we're gonna use a huge force on it so we will need this more than ever oh. use the braces to strengthen the skeleton of the ballista all right now you might want to use it here as well Something like this, but of course you can test it and see if it needs any more improvements or anything else. If it does, you can take care of that issue then. Okay, we are making progress here. Now, it's not that difficult to build a ballista, but it requires some testing and a little, a little bit of imagination. You need to make use of what you have. Alright, so... Oh wait, I forgot to put braces here. And here. Alright guys, this is the skeleton of the ballista. Okay, and now we need to fire it. And I will just show you how to do it. Just build this thing over here. 
and like that oh actually this is what you need at this point oh uh, and make sure to make some legs for your ballista it has to stay on something now we will play a little bit with the ballista I will show you this version that works and then we will try to make some small changes to it okay this is how it looks at this point we need braces here come on there you go there we go guys so um yep this is the skeleton of the ballista and now we just have to make the following thing let's make the arrow yeah this is the arrow huh you would never believe it so uh it's so thick huh Where's that? There you go, huh? What a huge arrow. Looks like, um, never mind. Too long. <laughs> okay. We will make it more resistant. And let's erase these blocks. And now let's build the explosive bolt. Basically, if you press G, you will be able to disconnect it. Now, let's place some strings here. The more strings you use, the higher the the most the more powerful it will be okay the last string was so wrong make sure to to ping the to to tie the string with the with the explosive bolt not uh, not the arrow itself okay let's set it to the ground uh, it doesn't make such a big difference, does it? It doesn't. Now we press G and BAM. It's not working. Because it's too big. We have to make it a little... Um, tinier. Okay, one second. Alright, so I made a little modification here. I changed the... Um, the location of the the strings so I, they, the strings are not at the very edge the strings are a bit more closer to the arrow all right because uh, this way i avoid putting too much let's say i i keep the arrow from a closer and it does fire it, well, you understand I just build this design the arrow will be fired correctly okay and uh, I also you see that the arrow is a bit uh, shorter because this way we avoid having it uh, destroyed by its own weight or something and here at the at the very bottom of the arrow we have this wooden block. Why? Because when you when we press G and this thing disconnects, we don't want it to go back. So it will it will be stopped by this uh, block. Okay. And now when we fire, oh oh, we forgot how to disconnect. Oh, okay. As you can see, it works, guys. 
it works. Huh? Isn't it beautiful? Of course, of course. Let's let's make a little modification here. And let's Okay. Now what modification do I wanna do? I want to fire a bit higher. Wait. So I will make the 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 the, the, the foot. Um, it's ruined. <laughs> Let's use this. I made the each leg of the catapult made it stronger. These are just details, guys. <sighs> anyway, if you have any more suggestions about what should I build next, please leave a comment. I actually built the ballista on the suggestion of another subscriber. Let's see this on the ground. Okay, now let's press G to disconnect and let's press L. Huh? It does fire better. Disconnect and then fire. Disconnect and then fire. Disconnect and then fire. Beautiful. Disconnect and then fire. It works! It works, guys. Let's make a screenshot. Okay, beautiful. Beautiful. Anyway, I want to try out something. I want to I want to fire at the very uh, from the ground level in order to hit some 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 soldiers but wait let's set it to the ground first okay and now let's disconnect and let's fire let's disconnect and let's fire fire it's still way too high for them <laughs> all right guys this was it I hope you enjoyed it, if you did make sure to subscribe, and if I was of any help, subscribe of course. <laughs> Alright, take care, I love you, bye bye.